So I'm super excited. Today we are doing the inaugural run of our new Stoltzfus spreader. Um, and we're spreading compost out in a field that we call Field 11. Um, this field has historically had really poor fertility, poor water infiltration, poor dry matter yields, um, not great species composition for forage quality, um, slow recovery rates. Uh, we know from digging and taking soil samples that it is intensely compacted, has 40 or so years of continuous hay production without much of any return in the past uh, 20, 30 years, mostly just uh, synthetic fertilizer and maybe some lime. Uh, sometimes in the Northeast when people are making hay, you get a window of opportunity to cut and dry hay and you go out there when it's way too wet. I think uh, prior management may have made that choice a couple times. Um, so we're trying to recover uh, a fairly degraded pasture. Um, so we're targeting our compost applications out here. The nice thing about the compost is it is, um, it's not, while it is nutrient dense, it, it's not like fertilizer. This is really a soil amendment in that it has nutrients that are gonna release slowly. Most of them are tied up in some form of more complex humus or other um, slightly um, degraded organic matter molecule and in the living bodies of the microorganisms. So it's not just gonna leach out when it rains. Um, ideally, when it rains, it will some nutrients will leach, leach into the soil. The microbes will start to uh, break down additional thatch and stuff that's in the soil. Um, they will feed the soil microbes that are already here. And we should see a boost, hopefully, in production, in forage quality, um, and hopefully over time in water infiltration. Um, maybe we'll start to see shifts in species composition. And there is also some research out there that shows that adding compost to pastures and rangelands um, can accelerate the rate of carbon accumulation in the soil. So that's beyond just the additional carbon that would be applied by the compost. Um, it's also uh, that sort of additional vigor given to the soil and the plants allows increased rates of photosynthesis, increased root health and root biomass and microbial biomass that should, in theory, um, increase the rate of soil carbon accumulation. And luckily we have a lot of baseline data for this field and we should be able to, to test that hypothesis and probably compare it to some of our other fields. So super excited.